And mm. it's crazy because like what it does to us in terms of our body on a physiological level is really shocking. The phone is like, I've got a, a more of a hate relationship with it. I, I don't want to, but yeah. I've got a love-hate relationship with it. As Mind in you. it connects me to people and I can watch it, mm. and I can you know, uh, listen to audio Simran on it and mm. I can email and have wonderful conversations with people. But at the same time, I can, I feel bombarded sometimes because it's always going off, you know, notifications, like mm -hmm. WhatsApp notifications, yeah. Facebook notifications, Instagram, like there's always something happening. Anji. And so if you've got a moment to be still, guaranteed, if you have your phone with you, you're not going to have that moment of stillness. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. going to be taken away from you at, like within seconds. And so I've, in order to get some stillness, which is something I've really come to value increasingly, mm. before I didn't, but, you know, like with stillness, you kind of, you, when you experience, like if you just take a moment now, like here we are in the studio and we're talking and it's quite relaxed. <laughs> um, but like we're, we're kind of in our thoughts, like I'm thinking, oh, I hope I'm doing a good job here or I'm thinking about what you're saying. And, mm. and that's cool. That's part of living and, and being in your thoughts. But then when you come out of that for a moment and you just like, just be still, like that experience of just space and nothingness is quite relaxing. Definitely. You know, if you're able to experience that and not go into thoughts, because what happens is the mind will just jump into thoughts. Mm. The stillness will happen for like one second or two seconds. But then immediately the mind will just be like, oh, you, you got to do this, or what about this? Or like, you know, you got to get up and do this. All oh, that really intelligent thought came up. You've got to mention that. And like, it's just, you get sucked into this like world of thinking and there's no peace in that. Mm -hmm. When you have good thoughts, it makes you feel good and happy. But most of the time we have a mixture of good, negative, you know, critical thoughts about ourselves. Or you're just, why did you say that? You sounded mm. really silly when you said that or whatever. Like we have, we're just, we've got all kinds of thoughts. Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that we started off with the phone. So I think the phone is like, yeah. you know, I've got to kind of have time away from it and boundaries like in the evenings, mm. I have to try and make sure I keep my phone downstairs. Okay. Because if it's in my room, I'll try and find some way of getting it. <laughs> like Andy. whether it's with my foot, whether it's with my arm, because I've got to sleep with the kids and stuff. Andy. So it's like, it's just so addictive <laughs> that um, even though I know it's addictive, it's, it's still addictive. <laughs> Definitely. Phones are very addictive. Yeah. And that's why I brought the topic up. Um, yeah. He's joking. It's like a six kakar yeah. uh, having oh, yeah. a phone in us as well. So, um, and it's crazy because like what it does to us in terms of our body on a physiological level is really shocking. Mm. So when we're like plugged into technology or we're on our phone, like most of us, including myself, will get up in the morning and check Facebook, check Instagram, check emails, check WhatsApp, check, you know, check whether I've got any missed calls, right? Mm. We're in this habit of checking. Mm -hmm. And when we're doing work as well, we'll have like one tab open and then we'll have another tab and we'll have another tab and then Instagram and then we'll like scroll through and think, oh, I need to get that bag. And then an advert will come up for something else. Then you yeah. think, oh, there's a CPD event for psychology. I've got to sign up onto that and mm. I'm, I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss that. And by the time you've like, it's been like half an hour's passed and you're like, wait, what was I doing again? Yeah, yeah. And it kind of steals your time. Definitely. Even when people watch TV, they've got their phone out as well at the same time. Yeah. I only realized it recently when I was at home, I walked in my living room. And you see my mom watching TV, but she's yeah. on her phone. Yeah. I'm like, then why are you watching TV for? Yeah. Right? So we're not even doing one thing now. We're doing That's multiple it. things at the same time. And what happens as a result of that is our attention span becomes very short. Okay. Right. So we have like a four or five second attention span, which means that every four or five seconds, we're like, you know, thoughts come all the time. Distractions come all the time. We can't focus on one thing for very long. And if you take a child, for example, who's constantly plugged into technology, mm. video games, television, social media, what happens is that every time they they check their phone or they play a game, they get this surge of dopamine release. But you were talking about that, the dopamine release is a reward pleasure chemical okay. that our body releases. And once that's released, we want to do the same thing to get that same feeling of pleasure and reward. Mm. But the thing is, because we're so plugged into technology, the amount of dopamine release is like crazy. It's like constantly releasing dopamine. And what happens, it gets a bit technical, but the receptors which receive the dopamine get desensitized, which means they need more and more dopamine mm. to get the same effect of pleasure. And the result of that is... Um, you know, you take a child, we, we, we now need stimulation. 
but that particular kind of stimulation like video games, television, movies, in order to feel pleasure. Mm. And when we don't have them, what we experience is a, lo a loss of pleasure, something called anhedonia, which means we can't experience pleasure in the simple things mm. like going for a walk or sitting with a friend. We need a different, that level of stimulation that being bombarded in order to feel pleasure. Mm. And that links into our well being, you know? So that's why without stimulation, and for example, look at lockdown, we're in lockdown now, and stimulation is reduced in some ways. You know, we're not going out so much. There's, you know, we can't go to restaurants. I can't take the kids to play centers. We're mostly in the home. Okay. And a lot of people are feeling the effects of that because we're so used to being bombarded with stimulation mm. that when we don't have it, we can't feel peace. Mm. We now just feel this loss of pleasure. Anji. It's like an addiction. It's like, it's like, same, it's like drugs. Like a drug. That's exactly what happens with drug addiction. So then you've got our young children who go to school, their attention span's really short, they can't learn, they can't take in. And so what they do is they play up because they're trying to get some kind of stimulation, mm. you know, or they, you know, they'll spend their time on their phone at home. Like it's just, it's, and then in the future, what we then learn and we become adults and we, we learn that we can't get pleasure from inside. We have to get pleasure. We can't experience peace. We don't really know what peace is, mm. but we know what pleasure is and that feel good hormone. Anji. So we look for that all the time. And we do that through food. I do that through food. <laughs> do that through food, technology. We do it through video games, we do it through movies. Like, so this is, becomes our life. Mm. And our bodies were never designed to be uh, consuming stuff like this. And you know um, this five seconds you talked about, yeah. is that just a random number or is that like no, generally what I, it is? No, I think it's about, well, it varies from person to person. Anji. But yeah, it's generally around now, nowadays it's about four to five seconds. Like if you think about it, if you sit for four or five seconds, yeah. chances are you'll become distracted by something. And just with YouTube stats, you know, yeah. you look at stats, well, yeah. what is the stats for that? In terms of like, in terms of uh, retention span is like three seconds. If you don't get the wow. audience retention in three that's seconds, it. that's it. So when we make videos now, you have to make sure first five seconds of the video <laughs> really is really catchy and engaging. Otherwise, we know they're going to turn off. So yeah. now people are marketing their, their, their work in such a way. No, but people don't realize nowadays that our attention span has become the product. And all these big tech companies, they've even admitted themselves that they've manipulated human psychology in order to get our attention span and to mm. basically sell our data off. What results is that we are not in control of our lives because we're his techno we're just taken in any direction that these companies want to take us. They'll put an advert and there's all these um, social media documentaries as well, how you can actually change people's opinions just by what you put out there and people aren't consciously aware of it. Um, and the science is that, you know, what this technology does is that it puts you in like a trance like state. And when you're in a, you know, that kind of zombified feeling you get when you're just watching a movie or you're scrolling through social media and you're scrolling through channels, you, in that space, you, um, you, what happens is that your an analytical mind s switches off mm -hmm. and everything that is coming in, you just absorb and it goes into your subconscious mind and, and it just stays within you. You don't get to choose. You're not conscious of it, but it all just enters whatever you're absorbing, whatever it is. And then that's what you become. That's what your thoughts become. You then, a few days later, you think to buy something and you think that you made that decision. Mm. But actually, a few days before, you would have watched an advert and it was encouraging you to do that. So we're taking in so much and we don't even know what we're taking. It's even that thing about you're saying that it could be in a conversation we had a few days ago as well or something that you saw We've had this a few times as well that we're talking to each other about something uh, random and then we go on our YouTube and that's come up on our YouTube. Okay. So it's was that the conspiracy? The, that, the, no, it's not conspiracy. <laughs> the device is true. It listening. does listen to you. Yeah. So then that way it's your conversations, uh, your phone is going to cater for that, right? And it's going to send those things towards you on your phone as well. So it's really crazy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the full podcast on our second channel, BOS TV. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get it to 10k subs.